The night was dark over the East China Sea, a vast expanse separating giants. Somewhere in that blackness a new kind of predator was on the hunt, not for prey, but for weaknesses. This was the Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, China's premier stealth fighter jet. According to Chinese state media this advanced aircraft embarked on a daring mission, a silent patrol through some of the most heavily monitored airspace on the planet. Its flight path allegedly took it through the Tsushima Strait between South Korea and Japan, then south toward the Bashi Channel separating Taiwan from the Philippines. This was no ordinary flight, it was a calculated probe into the heart of Allied defenses. The J-20's mission to fly through this electronic net without tripping any alarms to be a ghost in the machine. The success of such a mission would send a powerful message. We can go where we want, when we want, and you won't even know we were there. If China's J-20 can truly replicate this capability, it fundamentally changes the strategic calculus in the Indo-Pacific. The dragon has learned to hide in the shadows, and the world must now grapple with the consequences. The sky is no longer as secure as it once seemed. To understand the gravity of the J-20's alleged flight, you need to appreciate the geography. The Tsushima Strait and the Bashi Channel are critical maritime choke points, gateways between the Asian mainland and the Pacific. Control of the Tsushima Strait means control over access, making it one of the most strategically important waterways in Northeast Asia. The Bashi Channel, separating Taiwan from the Philippines, is a crucial link between the South China Sea and the Pacific. For China's navy, the Bashi Channel is a breakout point to move its fleets into the open ocean, bypassing the first island chain. For the US and its allies, monitoring these channels is essential to containing Chinese expansion. Both straits are blanketed with overlapping fields of surveillance, radar, patrol aircraft, and naval assets. By choosing these routes, China was testing the most robust parts of the Allied defense network. A successful penetration here would demonstrate a capability to operate freely within what the US and its partners consider their defensive backyard. The J-20's flight was a direct challenge to some of the most advanced radar systems ever built. The US and its allies have constructed a formidable wall of electronic eyes across the Indo-Pacific. Systems like THAAD and its ANTPY-2 radar, along with Patriot missile defenses and Japan's JFPS-5 radars, create overlapping fields of coverage. Airborne assets like the E-3 Sentry AWACS and Japanese E-767 extend this surveillance far out over the ocean. This layered approach is designed to be redundant and resilient. If one system misses something, another should catch it. For a stealth aircraft to fly through this dense web undetected would be a monumental failure of a multi-billion dollar defense infrastructure. It would mean the J-20's stealth is effective enough to defeat a variety of systems operating on different frequencies and from different angles. The very foundation of Allied air defense rests on the ability of these systems to see an attacker coming. The possibility that they might have missed a dragon flying past their door is deeply unsettling. The J-20's stealth is no accident. It's the result of deliberate, sophisticated design. Its faceted shape and chiseled angles deflect radar waves away from enemy receivers. Advanced radar-absorbent materials soak up radar energy, drastically reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section. Internal weapons bays keep missiles and bombs hidden, maintaining a sleek, low-observable profile. Newer variants feature domestically produced WS-15 engines with serrated nozzles, further reducing radar and infrared signatures. Every element from the diverterless inlets to canted tails is part of a holistic design aimed at making the mighty dragon a true ghost in the sky. The result? A fighter that's incredibly difficult to detect, track, or target. The J-20 is China's boldest step yet into the world of true fifth-generation stealth. The inevitable comparison is with America's F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The F-22 is the king of air-to-air -air combat, with unmatched all-aspect stealth and agility. The F-35, while less stealthy from all angles, is a sensor powerhouse, its real strength is information dominance and networked warfare. The J-20 sits somewhere between these two, a large twin-engine fighter designed for long-range missions and air superiority. Its stealth may be optimized for frontal engagements, making it highly effective at penetrating enemy airspace head-on. Canards provide agility but may increase radar signature from certain angles. The biggest unknown is the J-20's avionics and sensor fusion. 
areas where the F-35 still leads. In modern air combat, the winner is often the one who sees the other first. The J-20 is formidable hardware, but its ultimate effectiveness will depend on whether its systems can match the situational awareness of its American rivals. The contest is as much about information as it is about stealth. Any claims about the J-20's exploits deserve skepticism. The main source for the undetected flight story is Chinese state media, hardly an impartial observer. Announcing that your stealth jet outsmarted Allied defenses is powerful propaganda, regardless of accuracy. Neither the US, Japan, nor South Korea has confirmed or denied the incident. Silence could mean they don't want to reveal their radar capabilities or their vulnerabilities. The claim of a completely undetected flight is a high bar. It's possible the J-20 was detected but not tracked consistently. The truth may lie somewhere between total invisibility and fleeting detection. Regardless, the story serves China's strategic goals, sowing doubt, forcing adversaries to reconsider their defenses. The psychological impact can be as potent as the physical reality. The ghost flight story is a weapon in itself, part of a broader campaign of information warfare. In the end, perception shapes strategy as much as reality. The J-20's emergence marks a shift in Asia's military balance. For decades, the U.S. enjoyed uncontested air supremacy. The J-20 challenges that assumption. U.S. and allied high-value assets, tankers, AWACS, command planes are now at risk. The first island chain, once a defensive barrier, could become a contested zone. The J-20 could provide air cover for Chinese naval forces, complicating U.S. operations and Taiwan's defense planning. In response, U.S. allies are modernizing. Japan and South Korea are expanding their F-35 fleets and developing new capabilities. The U.S. is dispersing its forces across the Pacific to reduce vulnerability. The J-20 is a catalyst, spurring a regional arms race focused on next-generation tech. The economic implications are profound. A more contested region introduces new risks for global commerce. The J-20 is more than a weapon. It's a geopolitical statement forcing every player to reconsider their moves. The skies over Asia are now more crowded and far more dangerous. The rise of the J-20 and other stealth aircraft heralds a new era in air combat, a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek. The future will be defined by information dominance and signature management, not dogfights. Militaries are investing in counter-stealth technologies, low-frequency radars, multi-static systems, and passive detection. The goal is to build a network of sensors that can pierce the veil of stealth. Air combat will become a duel of electronic warfare suites as much as missiles. Manned stealth fighters may soon command swarms of autonomous drones, multiplying combat power and keeping pilots safer. The chess game in the sky is more complex than ever, with every side trying to find what is designed to be lost. Victory will go to those who can see without being seen. So, did China's J-20 really outsmart the combined radar might of the US, Japan and South Korea? We may never know for sure. The world of military intelligence is shrouded in secrecy, and neither side has an incentive to reveal the full truth. The story of the J-20's ghost flight will likely remain a modern military legend, plausible, but unprovable. What's not in question is the J-20's importance as a symbol and a capability. It represents decades of Chinese effort to close the military technology gap. Hundreds are now in service. Whether it matches the F-22 or F-35 is less important than the fact that it poses a credible threat. The mission, real or exaggerated, forces a reassessment of defensive postures and accelerates counter-stealth development. The era of unchallenged American air dominance is over. The mighty dragon is no longer a paper tiger. Its shadow now looms over the Pacific. The game has changed and all players must adapt or risk being left behind.